This is problem number 8 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're trying to find out which one of these four statements is not always true. Let's take a look at the first one. The sum of two rational numbers is rational. That's a pretty easy one. That's, that would always be true. I mean, like, if you could add 2 plus 2 and get 4. Those are all rational numbers. So, And that's always going to be the case. It would be impossible to create an irrational number uh, by adding two rational numbers. Uh, the second one, the product of two irrational numbers, is rational. Now, I can tell right away there's an issue with that. I mean, you could s multiply some irrational numbers, like root 2 times root 2, and that would get you an a rational number, but there's a lot of quick examples of where you can multiply two irrational numbers together and still have an irrational number. For example, we could mm -hmm. multiply root 3 times root 2 and get root 6, and that's not rational. You could even multiply pi times, let's say, root 2. That's clearly not going to give you a rational solution. So that's definitely one that's not true. Um, but just for clarification, we'll go through the other two options as well. Um, the sum of a rational number and an irrational number is irrational. I, I think we can use the example of pi here. To, I mean, if we added pi plus 2, that's a rational number plus an irrational number. And that would definitely still give you an irrational number. Mm -hmm. And um, the product of a non-zero rational number and an irrational number is irrational. Holy smokes, so many irrational. Okay, uh, so similar to above, if we multiplied pi times 2 or 2 pi, uh, that is irrational. So that shows that that could be true as well. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.